Show you how to buy anything with two simple tools. One is free, one is uh, almost free, but it's going to make things a lot simple for you. And you're going to be able to buy anything, anywhere, any type of crypto and make sure that it's right and you're not getting scammed. So the first thing you're going to need, which is very simple, is CoinGecko.com. Now, this is 100% uh, free. You can find everything. You can take a look at uh, the maximum supply. You can take a look at the markets. You can take a look at all the different contract addresses, everything you want to know mostly is at coingecko.com. And the second thing you're gonna need is a cold storage device. Now, my personal preference is the Tangem cold storage wallet. I'm not a big fan of Ledger. It's just uh, a little bit more cumbersome. And with the, with the Tangem itself, it's very easy. Now, right now, there is the Digital Asset News Limited Edition. There's only 98 wallets left. If you order it, you get 25% off. All you gotta do is put in Dan25, links in the description, and you're going to get 25% off. Now, usually there is an affiliate commission with that, but I am foregoing my affiliate commission so you can get the full 25% off. It's 50 bucks essentially sent right to your doorstep. Three cards, you're welcome. So with this one, we're going to take a look at meme coins. I'm going to show you how to, how to buy them on different DEXs and everything else. And I, it's the easiest way we can do it. And I think what's going to be a pretty big thing. Now, I've done a couple of videos where I've shown you that I'm actually putting some meme coins in my retirement account, my Roth IRA by iTrust. I also have meme coins in my regular portfolio and just a way to diversify. Now, both are heavily with Bitcoin, but hey, a little bit of meme coin gambling never hurt anybody uh, so far as you understand that it is gambling. So if you're unsure of like why meme coins, I think they're going to outperform. There's a video I linked in the description. This is from Murad Mamadev, and he talks about the meme coin super cycle. Look, I've been around since 2017. I don't think it's going to be a super cycle per se. We're going to see it over and over again. I saw in 2017 ICOs crush it. I saw in 2021 we saw we had NFTs, and uh, in 2024, 2025, I think it's going to be the meme coins. After this, just know that there is a limited window for this. But I think that yes, it could be a meme coin. Uh, big cycle. I don't see it happening over and over again. So I'm going to pick Blub. I'm going to show you why or how to actually buy this and how simple it is using CoinGecko. So the first thing you want to know is like, where do I get this? I uh, take a look at uh, markets. When we go on to markets, we can see that there's, uh, you've got centralized exchanges or CEXs of XT, Mexi, CoinEx, Ourbit. I don't have those. I'm an American citizen. I get the beautiful DEXs, decentralized exchanges, which is called CETUS. And also want to turbo is finance. So one thing about uh, about Blub, this is on the Sui blockchain. Sui, I think, is the next narrative, is potentially the next Solana killer. So I want to get into some type of meme coins that are on there. And from what I understand from a lot of the uh, influencers and people I've talked to across the world in Europe and Southeast Asia, they're like, Blub could be the next big thing. So sure, I'll gamble a little bit. And just so you know, one thing I don't like about this is their circulating supply total and max. You want this all to be the same because if the circulating supply is 325 and the total and max is 420, you know there's some unlocks to be had. I don't know where that is or if they're actually uh, locked up or frozen somewhere, but just be aware that's not what you really wanna see with meme coins all the time. This is close enough, so I'll give it a roll. Also, you wanna take a look at uh, the appreciation. So right here, you see that there was a big, huge runoff and it rebounded. I, that's what I want to see. I want to see something where meme coins don't just go straight up and straight down and are dead forever. This one's gone straight up, Take have a couple of uh, pullbacks, massive pullback, and now it's coming back again. And one big thing is that the market cap is only 26 million. So some people will say, no, you got to get below 10 million. No, you got to get below 5 million. Look, if you go lower in the market cap, that's just more risk. So just watch out. So again, markets, CDIS, I'm going to click on this. And the reason why I want you to go here is because if you search for a DEX in like Google, it could take you to the wrong website and you lose all your money because it scams. So don't do that. Just make it very simple. Go to CoinGecko. So first things first, it's going to show you that I've got 23 SWE. Watch out. And uh, it's saying, do you want to uh, sell your USDC for SWE and everything else? No, I don't want to do that. I actually want to uh, sell my SWE for blub which is right here one thing you'll notice though that is that there's a contract address zero xfa blub i want to copy that i want to see that to make sure that that matches up with the contract address that is up here and we can see right here zero xfa seven blub okay same thing i would recommend that you look at the whole thing but i've already seen it before by clicking on it so i think i'm going to be okay also you'll notice that uh my wallet is already connected because I've been here before. So I'm going to show you how this works. If you have to connect your wallet, very simple. Connect wallet, 
It's going to give you a whole plethora of different wallets to choose from. And it says here, SWE wallet. Well, how do I know where to get the SWE wallet? Let me see. If I click here, since I already have it, it's going to just uh, connect. But if I want to find the SWE wallet, where do I go? Again, CoinGecko. Go to the chain, SWE. Scroll down and see where it has like contract, website, explorers, wallets. You click on SWE wallet and you go to the official site to download it and it'll go onto your phone or onto your browser, whichever one you pick and whichever different platform you're actually using. So look, I, again, I don't want you to search for SWE wallet in the Google Play Store because it'll probably give you some kind of scam wallet and you lose all your money again. So again, CoinGecko is in all the hard work. Just go to CoinGecko, uh, make, that, make that happen. Also, on these contract addresses, you might ask yourself, well, is this token Blub? Or this is SWE, actually. Let me switch over to Blub. Is Blub... Is that only offered on SWE? Uh, let me take a look at contract address. Well, it says here it's only SWE. But there's other different uh, meme coins, like we'll take Pepe coin, for example. Look at their contract address. Did you know that it's actually offered on three different chains? It can be on BNB Smart Chain. So if you have Tether or any kind of stable coins or whatever else you have on, on, uh, on BNB Smart Chain, you can buy Pepe or an Arbitrum or in just straight Ethereum. So just be aware that you can do all these things on different chains on certain uh, projects. But for this one, which is a, a good amount, is that they just have it as on SWE. So now we're going to go back to Cetus and we're going to say, OK, connect wallet. I've already got it installed. SWE, connect. Great. So now, again, I'm going to change my SWE for Blub. But the question you might have yourself is, well, how the heck do I get SWE on there? So with SWE, I want you to notice something here, because this is the wallet itself. This is what I download onto my browser. I've got a whopping uh, 23 SWE. What I wanna do is I wanna transfer some of this from my Tangem cold storage device. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this, and then what I'm gonna do to make sure that you can see this and to show you just how fast it actually is, I'm going to uh, put up my phone and actually record this. So I'm gonna get into my Tangem wallet, and we're going to find SWE, which is somewhere right here. So I'm going to send, I'm going to paste that address. Let me make sure that's the right one. Zero X Great. Next, let's send over 22 SWE, another 42 bucks. I'm going to click next. And then it's going to say, oh, look at that. The uh, network fee is less than a penny. I like that. We're going to click on send. Here's my card, here's my phone. I put it over here and it's there. And how fast does it take to get there? Just like that. So that's why I like SWE. It's very fast, it's very cheap. There's other chains like that, but I like SWE and it could actually be that next one, that next big one. So now that I have that, I'm gonna go back here to Cetus and I'm gonna say, let's see here, let me refresh this because even though the wallet's sometimes fast, sometimes the DEXs are. Let's put in, let's just do 40. We'll do 40 SWE. I'm gonna buy some blub, 78 bucks. I'm gonna click on swap, confirm swap. And you might not see this, but it's gonna ask me to approve it. I approve it and that's it. So that's essentially how you can buy pretty much everything anywhere. And DEXs are the key to that. So let me know if you have any questions. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Everything we talk about is time sensitive. That's it for today. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.